Hi friends, I'm Natasha. Welcome to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're here today to finish up our Heyo Jesus series with me. I hope you were able to learn a little bit more about Jesus and his life on earth. We are going to have so much fun today singing, learning a Bible story, and even popping some bubbles. I hope that this series has shown you stories about Jesus that show you you can believe in him. That's why our big idea is, Jesus' stories show me I can believe. Now repeat that after me. Ready? Jesus' story shows me I can believe. Great job. We're going to stand up and sing Everyone Praise the Lord one last time. And as we do, remember that Jesus loves you. That is something we can believe. Let's stand up and sing that out right now. This song is Everyone Praise the Lord. We're going to start by clapping our hands. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus. He loves you and me. All right, guys, let's jump. Jump, jump, jump for Jesus. Jump, jump, jump for Jesus. He loves you. Yeah, He loves you and me. Let's sing Everyone Praise the Lord all together. Here we go. Good job singing and dancing, everyone. In that song, we sang about Jesus' love for us. Jesus loves us no matter what. He was real and true, and we can always believe in Him. Some stories about Jesus may sound impossible and unbelievable, but they are true. This reminds me of a story I read in one of my favorite books. Do you know what this is? That's right, this is the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that teaches us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. The story I want to show you from the Bible today is a story about Jesus during his life on earth. It's called Jesus Walks on Water. This story is about, drum roll please, Jesus walking on water. He really did, but the disciples thought Jesus was a ghost. Ooh, spooky. Let's see if the disciples believed it was Jesus or not and how the story ended. Go ahead and put on your thinking caps and your listening ears and watch this Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus walks on water. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. Ah! 
About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, Yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah, whoa! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me! Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped him and said, you really are the son of God. Wow, the disciples were so scared at first. I would be too if I thought I saw a ghost. But when they realized who Jesus was, the disciples were so amazed. They believed that it was true. Peter even got out on the water with him. Jesus was able to do the amazing miracle of walking on water because he is the Son of God. All the stories of Jesus in the Bible are written so that we can believe that Jesus is who he said he was. There is a verse in the Bible that tells us what God is like. I want to show you, but it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's get popping. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people. Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, that's a pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. Ah. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere, yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look what you did. We can see our Bible verse now. Let's read it together. The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Psalm 145, 8. This verse tells us about who God is. We can believe all the amazing things in the Bible about Jesus because of the stories we read about him in the Bible. It also reminds us that God doesn't punish us when we do something wrong, when we ask for forgiveness, even though we deserve it, because he is kind and loving. His love for us never stops, no matter what. Let's stand up and sing that Bible verse song together. This song is Psalm 145.8. It is all about God's great love and kindness for us. This verse tells us that God's love never stops, no matter what we do. So we're gonna sing out some woes together. Are you ready? Here we go. Sing it out. Let's sing our verse. Psalm 145. Sing it again. All right, let's clap our hands. We're gonna sing out, the Lord is merciful and compassionate. Let's sing together. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Sing out, slow to get angry. Slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Let's sing that out again.
up our hands like this. We're going to sing that all over again. The Lord is merciful. Let me hear you singing this time. Here we go. Great job singing that song. Singing about God and His mercy, compassion, and unfailing love is one of my favorite ways to get to know who He is. We can also get to know Jesus better by hearing stories about His life and learning more about what they mean. Our scuppet friend Winston is going to help us learn more right now. He is going to do some awesome stuff and take it to the next level. So put on your listening ears in your thinking caps and see what next level stuff Winston has planned for today. Hello world, I'm Winston. And I'm Will. Welcome to Winston's super fun show, Next Level. Woohoo! On this show, I make things super, 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 super awesome with this special Next Level bucket. Yeah, and we're learning about the most awesome person ever. Do you know what his name is? I'll give you a hint. There's a picture of him right here. Hmm. Oh, it's Jesus! That's right. This is a picture of what we think he could have looked like, but Jesus was a real person who lived a long time ago and did some pretty amazing things. Huh, like what? Like teaching everyone about God's love, helping sick people to feel a lot better, and he even walked on water. What? Yep, he did. How is that even possible? It was a miracle. That means it was something amazing that can only be done through God's power. And to show just how amazing it was, I want to play a game with all of you today. Woohoo! I love games! Friends, you can play too. It's a game called Sink or Float. We're going to bring out a bunch of things and you get to guess if they'll sink and go to the bottom of the water or float, stay on top of the water. Oh, fun! Whoa, what happened? Awesome. Okay, first thing, let's get the squishy pig. Will this sink or float? Hmm, um, I think it's gonna float. Let's see. Whoa. It floated, that's right, all right. Well, how about this banana? Whoa. Will it sink or float? Um, I think it's gonna sink. Let's see. Ah. Oh, oh, it floated, nice. Whoa. What about this Duplo? Sink or float? Um, I think sink. What do you think? Let's see. Whoa. Oh, it floated. All right. What about this rock? Will it sink or float? Oh, definitely sink. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, it sunk. I was right. Woohoo! What about this cool action figure? Will it sink or float? Um, sink! Let's see. Oh, it sunk! That's yeah. right! What about this cool boat? Will it sink or float? <laughs> float! Let's see. Oh, it floated! Nice! So you can see that some things are going to sink and some things are going to float. Okay, Mr. Will. You said that Jesus walked on water, so I think we need to show that it's impossible to do just that. Wait, where are you going with this, Winston? Ha <laughs> ha! We need to see if you sink or if you float. Really? All right, friends, what do you think? Will Mr. Will sink or float? Next level! Ah! He sinks! Oh, I definitely 
him at least sank. He sinks, wow. he sinks. Yup, I definitely sank. And here's the thing. When people try to walk on water, they definitely sink. But the amazing thing about the story of Jesus is that he could walk on water. Oh yeah, I would have said sink if we were playing the game with Jesus. Me too. This story and other stories we read about Jesus in the Bible show us that Jesus was real and what he said was true. We can believe in Jesus because of the stories in the Bible. That's why our big idea is that Jesus' story shows us that we can believe. Uh, Mr. Will, what kinds of things can we believe about Jesus? Good question, Winston. We can believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he has God's amazing power. Yeah, that's why he could walk on water. Yup, we can believe that he loves us and that he came to save us. Jesus cares about each and every one of us. Oh yeah, and he listens to us when we pray to him. That's right. So friends, remember these stories you hear about Jesus are real and they show us that we can believe in him. Now Winston, I think it's time for me to find a next level towel for me to dry off. <laughs> okay, Mr. Will. Friends, thanks for joining one of my favorite episodes of Next Level. Remember, Jesus loves you. And we do too. We'll see you around, friends. Bye. Goodbye. Wow, Winston really took that to the next level with the giant dunk tank. It looked pretty awesome. I loved guessing to see what object would sink and what would float. And it was so silly when Winston tried to see if Will could sink or float and got dunked in water. I would love to get one of my friends in one and see if I can dunk them too. We saw that Will sank, right? But what happened to Jesus when he was on the water? Did he sink? No, Jesus walked on the water. It was a miracle and could only be done through God's power. That story shows us that we can believe. We can believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We can believe He loves us and came to save the world. We can believe that Jesus always does what is right, cares for us, has God's power, can do miracles, oh, and there's one more. We can believe that Jesus listens to our prayers. That's an important one. Let's practice believing he's listening to our prayers and pray to God right now. Put five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sharing your stories with me so I can believe. Thank you for listening to my prayers and always doing what is right. I love you so much. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I've had so much fun with you. And don't forget to have a grown-up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about Jesus and the amazing stories from his life. And we would love to see you at Saddleback Kids too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. Now, let's say our big idea one more time. Jesus' story shows me I can believe. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus' story shows me I can believe. Great job. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.